My name is Latanya Wilson. I've been diagnosed with breast cancer three times. I just got diagnosed for the third time in April. I was diagnosed about this time last year, um, September of 2015. I was diagnosed with de novo metastatic breast cancer on my 37th birthday. I just turned 40. It takes a while to kind of integrate that into your new reality that, you know, that this is for the rest of your life, there's no cure. I have no family history of, of breast cancer. All of the cancer genes I was tested for were negative. There's really no reason why I have metastatic breast cancer. You know, stage four, you're scared. You, you know, you're thinking that it's the end of the world, and it's not. I used the internet to find uh, communities of people that I could connect with and learn from. At one point, I saw a lot of buzz about the Metastatic Breast Cancer Project. I went to their website, and I was like, wow, this is really exciting. I want to participate. Every patient's different, and to be able to study large numbers of people will help us understand how those differences manifest and what the biology is that is behind those differences. You don't have to do anything to me, but you're just taking everything that was already done, my tissues, my lab work, my, uh, my medical records, and, and look at all that and my saliva sample. I filled out a, a form online and I spit into a tube and sent it back. It was all very easy and very painless. We have all the information that they need. Um, we know what kind of cancer we have. We know what kind of subtypes we have. We know what expression of those subtypes we are. We know what percentage of those subtypes we are. To take their own diagnosis and their own tissue samples and their own information and their own voice to be able to do something to help. And, and I think that's why this resonates with a lot of people. I know that we're just a number in the lab, but they don't make us feel like we're just a number. They make us feel like we're part of what is going to help people in the future. People become stakeholders in the process. They see their ideas reflected on the website. They see the words that they contributed actually on, online, and it makes them realize that they really are driving this project forward. I'm taking this back and spread it in my area, in my support groups, especially for stage four people. Let's work to help the scientists and the researchers find better treatments for stage four. They're trying to help patients. Um, and even though it might not happen as quickly as everyone would like, um, the goal is to help and to come up with a cure sooner than we could if we didn't participate. We all, we're all hanging on to hope. We're all hanging on to, yeah, maybe, maybe something is gonna be done in, in our lifetime. But in the future, there's gonna be another 37-year-old who's gonna get diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer. Somebody will get to live with what I have because of the research.